Picking up where we left off, let's get these tubes out and uh, we'll take a look and see if we get the right tubes in the right socket. There's the uh, 56 tube, again a uh, bulb style. We'll test these later for shorts and emission. You may not be able to see that, but uh, the tube sockets are marked as well. The NFS showing up the 57 tube, and that's correct. And the 58. And we'll have to do a little repair on this tube if it's still good. Loose at the base. and the 2A6 which is uh, correct. Now here's the uh, oddball marked as an 80 but this should be the uh, 59 audio output tube and you probably can't see that on camera but indeed this is a uh, 59 tube And lastly, the uh, rectifier tube, type 80. We'll go ahead and do some uh, testing of the tubes later on and get them cleaned up. For now, we'll just set those aside, get some disinfectant wipes here, and just do an initial wipe down of the chassis itself. So definitely looks a lot better. Lots of rust though here on the uh, transformer, the uh, speaker itself, tuning condenser, and of course in addition to the uh, chassis. Let's go ahead and start checking things out here. Let's do a quick test on the primary of the power transformer and see what the health of it is. We'll start at the AC input where the old plug resided. It appears I have a defective on-off switch. Let me turn the chassis over. Let's bypass the switch and hook up directly to the primary leads of the transformer and see what we have there. Hooking up again here to the primary side and bypassing the switch. And you guys can see if the glare is not bad on the meter, we're in good shape there. It's what I would expect to see. So we're just under uh, 13 ohms of DC resistance. Let's move along to the secondary windings and see how they check out. I'm going to utilize the tube socket adapter kit that I'm sharing here. I'm going to try to make all the measurements of the power transformer in addition to testing the loudspeaker itself. I'm just using the adapters in the top side of the chassis. We'll start out here hooking the meter up to pins number one and four of the type 80 tube, again that being the filaments, and you can see the DC resistance here for the uh, transformer, and uh, we're in good shape there. We're under one ohm. Typically you would find that uh, you know around a half an ohm or less. Let's take advantage of the uh, 59 tube here, and again I'm going to use the uh, heater locations, pins number one and seven. And you can see we're looking at DC resistance here, and uh, we're about 0.3 ohms or so. So again, less winding, less DC resistance, so I think we're good there as well. Let's move over to the uh, high voltage winding and uh, give it a check. We can leverage pins 2 and 3, that being the two plates of the uh, rectifier tube number 80 here. So you can see that's where I've got the uh, meter hooked up and you can see our DC resistance here at about 460 ohms. Again, we're reading across the entire winding. We need to look at the center tap as well and uh, make sure that we're about one half of the uh, 460 on each side back to uh, pins two and three. So we'll do that next. I'm actually going to jump underneath the chassis for this measurement just so I'm not testing through the uh, resistor you see highlighted there in red that goes back to grid number one there on the 59 tube. 
So here's my uh, center tap location and uh, you can see or you could see I should say the uh, DC resistance here on the meter at about uh, 220 ohms if that's showing up get my lead out of the way and if we go down to the other of course the uh, readings won't be exact because there's more uh, wire of course on one winding than the other 242 so that's uh, right at half of the total winding so it seems like our uh, transformer the power transformer is at least not open I haven't checked it for shorts and uh, we'll simulate some uh, voltage readings maybe later on if I pull this thing out of the uh, chassis itself. <laughs> 